Hi guys, it's uh, summer solstice in the UK today. The World Cup is on and uh, that's not for me so I'm heading into the woods to test out my new tent. Look who's having to lie down, just meters away from me. This guy seems quite relaxed. I'm just packing my kit away. Okay, so the woods was a bad idea. I've been getting stung. I've got short sleeves on and shorts. Something to learn from that. I found a spot to uh, set this tent up and have a look right on the edge of the Manchester Ship Canal. What a lovely evening. This is it. And you can see where this tent gets its name from. Not an unusual profile. It's very sleek. Area with a zip on each side. And not only that, we've got plenty of space for one person, room to spare on each side. You wouldn't even have to close the porch properly if you didn't want to, just put the mosquito net and that vent across. It resembles a proper tent space inside. And, uh, it's quite a good colour green as well that blends in. It is fairly high, obviously, compared to a bivy. Easy to put up. The one thing I didn't like was uh, the instructions tell you to put the inner up first and then throw the fly over the top. But being in a bit of a stealth situation here, I didn't want to flash bright orange to any possible walkers coming by. 
so I actually uh, lay down on the floor with it and put everything together and then put it up in one go. Slight bit more fiddly but nonetheless it was good. And just a bit of perspective on it, I've put the Dutch Army Vivi next to me which you can see blends in really well in this environment. Low profile. But I mean, this doesn't particularly stand out. It's not bad. Especially if you're on open moorland. The wind on this, you know, get, get inside there, you've got plenty of space. You can even get changed in there, I suppose, which is something sadly that you can't really do in there. And for me, they're pretty much the same weight. Um, add a tiny tarp with this, and um, you've got the same weight. Um, excited about it. I can't wait to actually sleep out and uh, just experience it. So, well done to Van Gogh. This weighed at 1,800 grams, slightly heavy pegs that can be lowered down. Um, and we're looking at 1,500 for this. Now, well, I've taken the inside away. <coughs> The fly's just pegged out, almost like a tarp. Just watch this. I'm just putting the pole hard into the ground. Within a few seconds, you could just manage two people in there. Look at this. Now it really is spacious. If you, you could maybe just use a bivy bag in there and use it as a rain shelter, or get a bit more of a ground sheet in there. There's loads of space, and of course, it's even lighter. One advantage you've got with this over the bivy or even the Zephyros one-man tent is where your head is expected to be if you sleep up towards the front. You've got a lot of headroom. You don't feel claustrophobic in there and you can't even sleep with one of the doors open or, well, both of them if you feel up to it. Well, at least you have a choice. So depending on which way the breeze is blowing, you can open up one side, you can open up side as well. You can open them both together and strap them around the centre peg. Oh, excellent piece of kit. And unlike some of these Mickey Mouse tents, we've got a 5000 hydrostatic head. Excellent.